everyone, I am back into making videos again. I would like to welcome you to my new cleaned up desktop. Wow. I've been ashamed to show it publicly, so I have just redone it for this one video. Not really, I just did it for fun. Uh, since I haven't made a video for a while, I thought it might be cool to go back to my roots, you know, and make a, a Game Maker video. You, you read the title for this video, so you know exactly what I'm doing. I am making a arrow key style menu, meaning when you press up, you go up one, when you press down, you go down, when you press enter, whatever you have selected it happens. Um, okay, e yeah, enough dilly dally. Let's just open up Game Maker, or GM as I like to call it. I'm using Game Maker 7, but it works with 8, and it also works with Light, even though I do have Pro. Alright, now let's get started. I have a basic platform engine I will be using for this. Not that that really matters, the engine I'm using. And I have everything set up. You'll want a menu. You'll want a gaming area. You'll want any other screens you want the menu to lead to. And options, I have, you know, you can either take the red or the blue pill. I decided to go with the red pill since that's the one he chose. So options gives you choice. You get red. And instructions in survival situations, you have to have an instructor or you'll die. And blue typically keeps you alive. I know those are weird ways to remember things, but in many just has a boring old background. So that's how I'll remember things. First, you'll want to make a... you don't have to make a group. I'll just name it group, just for cleanliness' sake. I'll make SPR underscore menu keys. You'll want to edit sprite. Resize the canvas. In this instance, I will be using 600 and 1200 percent, so it looks like this. And you will want to make, or right, you'll want to make four buttons, or at least I will for this tutorial. You know, I'll take fuchsia because fuchsia is a fun color. Oh yeah, that's the awesomest menu screen I've ever seen. You don't want to make four buttons. I don't care if it's even, because I'm just doing this quickly for the tutorial. That's one, two, three, four. And just to distinguish them, I'll just do like P, L, A, and Y. That's so much quicker than going to the text. And I'll just say opt for options in t for instructions and of course I have to do the whole thing for quit sorry it took so long but I just wanted to do that so and then you'll want to make that and you'll want to pick a color I'm taking yellow for this and remember which two colors you picked I picked let's see this and this. I want to make sure those are custom colors just for the sake. I'm sorry about this. Custom color. One, two, and make this a custom color. Okay, now you'll want to take, as I said, a color that's bright and put it around the border. Or just do something to that particular one to make everybody know that it's selected. You don't have to do every single dot I am right now. Oh, I messed up. Okay, okay, that's good enough. You'll want to take that. You'll want to say copy, paste, 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 paste. You want to do four times, even though I just did it five times, which is a dumb thing to do. Select that. And now you'll want to go back to custom colors. See, this This is why we saved it. Make sure you get the back how it was. And you'll want to select this with the right. And now you'll want to go back and pick the same colors you did with this. Okay, that's good. And do that with each one. I'll pause it and come right back when I'm done. Alright, I it appears I am done. I have play, options, int, and quit. All done. So you'll want to remember that play is number one, options is number two, Int is number three, and quit is number four. I like to think you want to select your options before you play, and instructions are optional. So, uh, 
Yeah, that's just kind of how I remember things. And quit is always last. Now I want to make an object, create object, and say underscore menu, underscore keys. And you'll want to make that group sprite. First, you'll want to say create and do the obvious image index is equal to zero. And then just for this is sake, you probably will definitely need to do this. Sorry, I, I, I thought you didn't have to. Man, I haven't used GameMaker in so long, I can't find where... Oh, right, that's because it's an event. Step is an event. You'll want to set image speed, sped, speed to zero. Make sure that is always at zero. Now you'll want to create key press up event. And you'll have to do this individually, I know it's kind of a pain, but um, you want to make variable image index, check if variable image index, that's the frame you're on, is equal to zero. That's the top one, if you press up, then start of a block just to make it night, 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 nice, oh, ne nice, bleh, image index, if you press up when you're on the top one, you'll drop down to three which is the bottom one. And then you'll want to say else and then say variable if image index is equal to one. Remember zero is actually the first frame, um, one is actually the second third frame, uh, two is actually the third, and three is actually the fourth because it includes zero as a number. You'll want to do if image index is equal to two, that's the second frame, and you press up you want to set variable image index to zero. I think you get what I'm doing here. You'll want to continue on until everything is done. I'll pause and do it myself. See you in a second. Alright, I am done. Every time you press up, it goes to the next one. And to show this, I shall, I shall go into menu and place this. Make sure menu is your first room, that's the top one, and you'll want to press play. Oh, I love that new background. Okay, so now you see it starts off with play selected, I press up. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, sad day. Okay, I'll be right back and fix this. Okay, I think I fixed it. I decided to go with down and then up instead of taking the top one and then going up from there. That seems to work. And now to show it off, I'll press play. I will press the play button. I love the background. Okay, so it starts off on play. I press up, it goes to quit. I press up, it goes to int. I press up, it goes to opt. I press up, it goes to play. Okay, so now after that you do this, you'll want to mirror it for press up. That means instead of going up one, you'll want to go down one. So you'll want to say duplicate. Well, you don't have to say duplicate, but I just want to, if variable image index is equal to 3, instead of that, it is 0. Instead of, if it's on 2, instead of that, it's equal to 3, and so on and so forth. I may as well just keep this on. If it's on 1, it is now on 2 instead of 0. And if it is on 3, it is on 1. So now, let us try this. I probably left something entirely out. Up, 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 down, 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 down. Yep, the same issue. You have to do it from the top. I'll come back and fix this. If you don't get what I'm talking about, the first action probably should not be um, the one where it has to go through the bottom to get back to the top, if you know what I mean. It should start from the top and go down, or start from the bottom and go up. It shouldn't start from the top, then go up and come at the bottom. It should go smoothly if you get what I'm talking about the code all right I'll fix this and talk to you in a second and it is fixed it starts off at zero and works its way down as you can see and now for the real meat in the potatoes we just had the um, green beans or the rice on the side whatever you typically eat um, you'll want to say add event key press Enter. That is the button I'll be using for select. I want to say, let's see. 
press enter, check if image index is equal to zero, then that will move that'll take you to let's see different room. That will take you to yes. Sorry about that. Um you'll want to go to room zero because that is the playroom with no transition because those typically don't look very good. You want to go to else image index is one. Remember that is options. It'll take you to larg, can't find it, I haven't used game maker in so long. It'll take you to options, the room options, and now you want to say else um, no, I'm being stupid. Variable image index is equal to two. That is the instructions window because it's blue. And yeah, survival situation. It'll take you to instructions. And finally, else uh, if variable image index is equal to three. Or quit. Make sure that's below. Okay. Then it will sort of a block. And I can't find it. I don't remember how to find anything in Game Maker. It will end game. All right. Now let's try it out. I probably am doing another fatal flaw, but this will work for now. You see it moves just fine. If you press enter, it will take you to the playroom where you can see the mo the view is moving. You can't see the player object because it, it kind of glitched, but it's what I have to deal with. Alright, so now I'll say exit. I'll run the game again. Go down to options, press enter. It's the red because the red pill means choice, which is options. Okay, so I'll say exit. Play. Move back down to instructions. Blue because you have an instructor in survival situations and blue causes you to be calm. I know that's that's the dumbest one of the bunch. You'll want to go back to play. And finally the um real test quit. It ends the game. Alright, so thank you for watching. Tune in next time to your imaginal imaginational I forgot what word that was. T V and um yeah, if you have any suggestions, don't be afraid to drop a comment. Talk to you later.